previously on the Tower of Spirits. When you get out here, you go up, well, you do go up a long set of stairs. Yes, you wouldn't, you wouldn't miss going up a long set of stairs, but did you notice that there are no sorts of, like, openings to go into what this portion of the tower is like? Well, check this out. When we came out here before, this was all cutscene. We didn't have any access to be able to do this sort of thing. Nor do we even have the Bow of Light, but check this out. Woo! And one more. Always make sure to charge up your arrows, because, yeah, it won't affect the eyes. Check it out! Check it out! It's the final area of the Tower of Spirits. Yes! There's actually more floors to do in this place. Can you believe it? No, you couldn't possibly believe it. Well, until you've seen it. When I first seen this, I was like, oh my god, I thought I reached the top because I didn't notice that there was that whole gap that I bypassed, you know, with the stairs outside the tower. But no, look at this, look at this. You go down the stairs and we're in floor 30. Who knew there was something like this under the altar? All right, Link, it's time to end this. Together we can take on anything, right? No way. You say that now, but I know you'll come around and do the right thing. It's because you got such a big heart. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I'm not going to be starting this this part. Remember what Anjin told us, Link? Your new sword is filled with energy. That means you don't need to grab the tears of light to attack the phantoms. So, yeah, well, I'm not going to be starting this today. I just wanted to show you that... As long as we're here and I can get grab the stamp station and stuff like that, I would show you what that all meant, is that there is indeed more to the tower that we have to do here. And now, the conclusion. And here we are. Eee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, the finale, the actual finale of the Tower of Spirits here. So this place is uh, has by far the most difficult puzzles of all the Tower of Spirits floors. As a matter of fact, this next area that we're going to go down to here is the place that I thought was in Phantom Hourglass, but actually wasn't, that I said that I was dreading coming to. No, no, I had the games wrong. It's here. It's so dark in here, Link. We've been in a room like this before, haven't we? And let's do what we did last time! Okay, so we're not going to be actually as thorough with our doodlings. We're going to draw, you know, rooms out like we did before-ish. Oh, that was actually kind of a bad angle there, but well, we're gonna... I'll just kind of map out things with more crude lines than I did before, as opposed to me kind of drawing for hours at a time just to get everything super detailed and whatnot. But anyway, my, my focus of coming here is this phantom, and I don't know how this illuminates when we're changing, uh, maybe it's just the glowiness. <laughs> so yeah, there's it, it's we got sort of like a crisscross thing going on here. It goes from here, here, something like this, and it connects something like that. And there we go. <laughs> so, there's also this thing which we of course can't read without being a fire phantom, or well, I mean, you know, flame phantom, but... So, our main thing here is just to get a regular phantom, let's just put it that way. <laughs> See, this place is really complicated, and it spans multiple floors of darkness. And that room that we've seen there was only one of like three or four rooms in the darkness area. So... Yeah, it's gonna be quite a doozy to figure this all out. I just want to get him into a better position. There we go. <laughs> Perfect! Alright, I want to give you a little tour of this room here. Oh, I should get my boomerang out for ye ol' keys. Thank you very much. for uh, Thank you very much for damaging me here. So there's a switch over there. And yeah, we're gonna wait. No, 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 I don't want to go past that corner. It's gonna see me. It goes in like a... I think a figure eight pattern, if I recall correctly. And then there's also a switch over on this side here. But I want to get rid of all the keys first, just to kind of kind of make things a little easier on myself, if at all possible. Okay. So yeah, he's going to go around that way, I'm going to go around this way. And so, I'm just going to cut to the chase here. There is a... Uh, timed puzzle here with those switches and if you're trying to hit them with your bow or something like that because of the speed of Zelda It just is not gonna happen. 
So, what you gotta do is use your boomerang to hit these switches from a relatively far distance, and then rush over to the other one and hit the other one at a relatively far distance. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that there, do the path really quick over here, and hopefully we're gonna have enough time, because it's, it's kinda tight. Yo! <laughs> There we go! And it's also very, very hard to get that phantom out of the lava there because of the whole thing of you can't go in the lava, but it can. And if you're not on the- whoops! If you're not on the same level it is, it's gonna kinda not let you hit its back with an arrow or a, uh, uh, with, with your sword or anything like that, so it's kind of a kind of a problem there. Anyway, we did not speak to that phantom just yet, now did we? I've been it's been all lava all the time here. <laughs> We're here to patrol, not whine. My job is to slog through lava. Boo! I think we have no special talents. Are you the new intern? <laughs> Go back to your post. Go back to your post. Okay, he's tired of me now, so. That's enough chit chat, let's go over to the next floor. <laughs> Alrighty, so, let's go. You can follow me, right? Yeah, you're close enough to the door. Alright, next series of floors, and we're in a separate series of darkness here, so you got some safe zone here. Actually, I should put S's where there's safe zones that I've been doodling out here. And we gotta kind of feel this out. I think there's a wall over here of some kind. So I think I'm gonna actually have to be a little more elaborate with this particular area over here than I was the other. Get out of my way! Than I was the the other room here, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's this, this this whole blockade hallway here, and this is what I came here for, though. Sometimes darkness can open a path. Oh, I was gonna get out my. There we go. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and blow out the torches here. Oh no, I dang it! <laughs> as many as I can. Oops, I hit the pause. Dang it, we're not gonna go through this again. No. Never again. Never again. So yeah, blow out all the torches. And we'll be able to find our way forward. By the way, there is a hole in the middle of the room here to look out for. So I'm just going to indicate that by like a... Uh, oh wait, that's, that's way off track. That's uh, somewhere around here, and I'll just do like crisscross lines to indicate a hole there. Okay, you, you're kind of in the way. So and that's that's kind of the point here in that the uh, the ghosts that are hanging around the area, you know, they thrive in the darkness, and we got to make the room completely dark in order for us to. Oh wait, why did I blow that? What? Oh yeah, the hole. <laughs> we got to make. The room completely dark, I'll go around this way. The room completely dark before this door over here will open, and I did it again. <laughs> okay, there we go, one more at the other corner. Right over here, right over here I say, there we go. So, <laughs> well that was terrible. Terribly embarrassing, I should say, in general. So there's something like this, and it goes around something like... That I think, and then a little little jutting over there, right, right, something like that, maybe. So that means I can go like all the way over here, call Zelda over, and also try and avoid this fiery phantom there. Okay, there we go. We want to switch phantoms, basically. <laughs> Those torches will relight themselves if you go out the door, so don't bother about just relighting them manually or anything like that. So, alright, let's go ahead and begin our lighting speed down this way, as it'll make things a little bit easier. Uh, oh, act actually, maybe this connects, like, over to here. Like, maybe this is wider. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead really quick. I'm, not, I'm As I said, I'm not trying to be anywhere close to as elaborate as I was before, but I just want to give you an idea of what the rooms are like, basically. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is walled around. So this is indeed, like, way, way too far over. <laughs> so it's gotta be something like that. There you go. There, and then it loops around a central location of sorts like that there. And then there is a door sort of kind of place somewhere over... Yeah, that, that'll do. That'll do. <clears throat> we got the idea. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm just gonna light all that I can along the way just to make it a little bit easier on myself here. 
Uh, this is another blockade. Good to know. Uh, but I would like to uh, show you here that there's a safe area before we go to anything else. Where? There you go. <laughs> Just, just to let you know that there is a place to run to if you need to. Okay? Okay. <laughs> and once you get over here, behold! Another phantom. <laughs> but that's okay. We have the solution. We just gotta distract him. <laughs> I wonder what he has to say, though, if we should chat with him. Because why not? Why not? I think this one doesn't say all that much, though, if I recall correctly. Like, it's one of those really diligent ones. Hey, talk, talk. Can't you see I'm working right now? Can't you see I'm working? Can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you? Yeah, it's one of the diligent ones. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead here and meet up with Zelda over here. It's kind of like a... Uh, another crisscross area of sorts, kinda, but not, not the same. It's more like something like this. Uh, yeah, like these connect, like that, and then you've got these thingies over here. And I think there's another one over... Uh, yeah, there's another wall-like thing over here. Something like that, so I'm just gonna scribble this all in nice and dark. So that's, that's the layout of our room here. And we need Zelda to kinda... Oh yeah, there's that little bump over there too, that's, that's another factor. Okay. But that bump isn't all that important. If we're running from the phantoms, we can kind of feel around for that. Uh, so our solution for this, of course, is distraction. <laughs> but anyway, let's read this now. Look for two eyes in the dark. Shoot them with light to get the key. Of course, yeah, that. And we're going to... We're going to light this for kicks, too, because why not? And we'll also hit the wall there to distract the phantom. And we're gonna go around back, get this all charged up. There we go, hit that, and way, way, way on the other side, like... I, I'm, ta I'm talking, like, over here, in a totally separate room, is that. <laughs> way over there, yeah. So that is a thing that is for later on. It's, it's another eye in the darkness, but it's nothing that we have access to right now. Uh, I do believe I want to get that Warp Phantom sometime later. Um, well, actually, maybe I could get that now. Because I don't... No, no, I still need my Flamey Phantom here. So I'm going to go ahead and zigzag around. Oh, that's like a... Oh, that's... No, no it goes like that, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I still need to take our flaming phantom here back to that other room with the regular phantoms to do something else. Because remember, there was those torches to light over there, so... Yeah, let's go back over there and see what we can do. And hopefully we're going to be able to do this quickly before the other phantom will get in our way on this lava area. Go, 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 go. And we're going to jump on you right away. There we go. Go, 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 go. Oh, you were... The line erased, really? Ah, okay, fine. Fine. I think I touched the dot, that's why it erased. It's gonna see me, I think, but it, it won't be able to get us in time. Oh no, it's taking that route, okay. That is good. That is good. Okay. By the way, do not go through this door, ever, like when you're going through this place, unless you want to end uh, your run here, because that's gonna make your phantom immediately disappear from Zelda's possession. <laughs> I've done that before, and it sucked. So always remember to go up this door over here. Alright, phantoms. We have a flaming thing to light over at the corner there. I'm just gonna kinda go around you guys. Oh, that's actually like a it's a whole elaborate other series of room here. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna actually go and distract them with uh, my friend here. And by the way, you also get a... I was gonna say, we also get uh, hints here. Yeah, weak spot in the upper portion of the wall, but uh, I didn't really have time to... Yeah, I think it's that upper left portion of the wall. Alright, everyone over here, we'll, we'll have a nice conversation where it's safer here. Here, everyone, everyone get back over here. Just everyone... Come on, here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, talk. Weak spot in the wall to the upper left. Weak spot in the wall to the upper left. Weak spot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna learn that from the other um, plaque. That thing that's over there used to be a corridor here. Where did it go? 
weak spot in the upper wall to the upper left, and weak spot, then yeah. So we actually learned this from something that from one of those placky areas there, but we're kind of we're kind of swamped right now. You know what? I'm just reset their position because I had the right idea going around the way that I did before. It's just that I kind of kind of took a wrong turn there. Okay, so we go to the upper area and we go loop around. Follow those lines, and instead of going into that corner, we go over here. Look at that, like a pro. <laughs> there we go. So this is like a little dead end place of sorts, and this leads to a. Come on, uh, come. On. Okay. <laughs> this leads to a sandy puzzle room. So, oh wait, actually I should leave my bow out. No, wait, better yet, the bombs. I'm gonna leave you here the whole time while I get this area cleared out. How's that sound? <laughs> so what we need to do here is get this and call her over. Over here, right, yep, gotta make some pathways here. See, I told you we need our flamey phantom. Yay! I remembered stuff! Don't fall in this quicksand, please. Well, it's not quicksand, it's just sand that you would fall into if you... because you're so heavy or something like that. No, 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 I want to make this just to make sure you can't fall in there. There we go. There we go! Now, this creates two treasure chests. One contains an actual treasure, one contains a key! So, up. Uh, well... <laughs> so we've got to get both of those for the sake of clearing stuff, I suppose. So let's go right ahead, right ahead here and make our way back. Hopefully without any sort of Zelda sinking. Don't go, don't go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now for the other ones, again, I'm going to leave her behind while I... Well, actually, I want to see what happens if I a sand rod these guys. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Just absolutely nothing. Just kind of poop out on top of that. All right, get down here. Get down here. Come on. Or or sand dissipate. That'll work too. Uh, okay. There's more though. There's more. So we have more opportunities to explode them quickly. There we go. Hmm. Eh. There we go. <laughs> I think there's one more. I thought maybe. No. Okay. So we're gonna switch on now over to the sand rod because we need it. And we also need to be on top of Zelda for this part. So we're gonna get her over here. Get on top of her and begin our doodling. Yep, this is gonna be multitask 101 here. <laughs> Just don't go too far ahead so that you don't have too much to be overwhelmed by. There we go. And also don't drop off of Zelda like on these platforms, otherwise you're gonna have to go all the way back to the start because that's the only place that you can get on top of her. So yeah, another ancient gold piece. Because yeah, um, see this is all level with the sand, these sorts of lighter colored areas here, but then you got this darker colored one, which is the only one that you can really get on top of her from, or over here. But that's back below the sand line, and this is, yeah, this is all level with this line, so this is why you always have to go all the way back to the start if you should accidentally drop off of Zelda at any point of this, and it's not on top of the higher platforms. So let's just try and do this nice and smoothly, shall we? I think so. <laughs> just to kind of maximize our time usage here. All right. We got ourselves the first of three keys. What? Three keys? What do you mean three keys? Yes. So, there on the other floor, there was... Was it 29? Was it? Yeah, there was this door area here. And this I didn't go down yet because there's a three-split path to the next segment of this whole area. As a matter of fact, I could I could do a little doodle here to indicate that there's a door over here. I should also indicate that there is a door over here and for kicks over here. So yeah, there's our doors for the areas and I'm just waiting for the to, to dissipate. And what we got to do is the three keys before we go down that door at the, I should say the bottom middle door in that darkness area because we won't be able to do anything without three keys anyway. It's just a, it's just a thing of that, yeah, we gotta have them all for our victory, and Zelda is now safe. 
Alright. Now that we got that taken care of, well, one of the three keys, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I continue our very long puzzle spree through the temple, or well, Tower of Spirits. I guess it is a temple too, come to think of it, if you really want to put it that way. <laughs>